All right, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Loki Matt here yet again. What's up? I am back with a another Sora Force Smash video for you guys today. We got that uh, Sephiroth event coming up here real soon, so I just want to talk about this little thing real quick because it's getting discussed a lot as well, and uh, I think it is somewhat of a possibility, and I think it's worth discussing, so yeah, let's get into it. So, of course, last Thursday was the reveal of Sephiroth being added into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, the third fighter in the uh, Fighters Pass Volume 2. Something that shocked a lot of people, including myself, because there's not been like two DLC characters from the same game, but hey, that finally happened. Um, so there's that preconceived notion out of the way. There is going to be a Sakurai Presents for um, Sephiroth, which is going to be tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Time. They're going to be showing off his moveset. He's going to be playing him a little bit, kind of demonstrating what he does. And of course, they're going to show off the extra stuff that's coming with it, especially the new me costumes. Let's get into the uh, Sora part of this video. Sora being a highly requested character to be put into Smash. He has his own hashtag, hashtag Sora for Smash. So obviously, Pretty popular. I know he's memed a lot and stuff, but that's just because he's so popular. If you look at any of like the fan polls for most wanted Smash characters, he is near, if not at the top of them. And a lot of them have actually gotten in, like Steve and Banjo have, have gotten in. So every time a Smash reveal comes up, people are hoping it's Sora. Um, and it didn't happen this time, unfortunately. And with Sephiroth now being in Smash, a Square Enix rep, and Kingdom Hearts also being developed by Square Enix, that does put a damper on things in terms of him getting in to smash i know i know he's a disney rep sure but he's also a square enix rep he the games are made by square enix on the game side he is a square enix rep just because there's a copyright on it doesn't mean he's a solely the rep of that he is shit shit biscuit and there's so many people saying oh disney will let him be in smash and stuff like that i have a whole video debunking that if you want to go watch that because it's so stupid basically they don't care they'll let him in there it's fine, whatever. Getting back on topic, seeing as Sephiroth is a Square Enix developed franchise, maybe with him coming out, I guess I could go a little bit thematic here and kind of put Sora in or Kingdom Hearts stuff in as a me costume. And I think it's something that I could totally see happening. You know, um, he is still a popular gaming franchise. They add franchises in that are pretty popular as me costumes of course sans fallout it wouldn't be out, out of the realm of possibility and again it would be kind of thematic with final fantasy um being also developed by square enix so it's something that could happen it'd be kind of the ultimate troll to people who wanting sword of smash because obviously we want him as a character obviously that's the case um we wouldn't be talking about him that much if we just wanted him as a me costume but if sakurai ben wanted to be a fucking massive troll or something like that they could just put him in there like that but i again wouldn't be surprised since they have done requested characters as me and um, as me costumes in the past travis touchdown <laughs> and sans <laughs> i think it'd be more likely to happen tomorrow with sephiroth being that all that kind of stuff like i mentioned before i obviously want him to be a main character i wouldn't be doing all this if that wasn't the case but if he was ultimately a me costume yes i would be disappointed and i would be sad but i would eventually get over it and I would eventually be happy that he got in Smash at all. To have Kingdom Hearts stuff in there, period, would be amazing. It'd be freaking cool. Yes, it would be less exciting than a main fighter, and he would have a lot less stuff to him, and it would just be a glorified costume at the end of the day, but I would consider Sora for Smash to be somewhat of a success. Just to get him in there at all, I'd be happy with. I'm not mad that Sephiroth got in over uh, Sora. Obviously not. I mean, Sora, Sephiroth's an awesome character. Hopefully they'll differentiate him from Cloud in some way because I'm afraid they'll make him too similar. I don't know. We'll have to see on that though. But just because he'll be a me costume doesn't mean he's necessarily counted out for being a main fighter either. What do I mean by that? So remember back in the beginning of this video, we thought that, oh, you know, two characters from the exact same game can't be added into Smash. You know, that doesn't make any sense. Well, look what fucking happened. Look what happened. Every preconceived notion that we've had about characters getting into Smash has been broken time and time again. We always thought that Banjo couldn't get into Smash because, oh, he's owned by Microsoft. And they're like rival console maker. You know, they wouldn't let that happen. Well, look what fucking happened. We thought that Cloud could not get into Smash because, oh, you know, Final Fantasy VII is like a mainly PlayStation thing. It was kind of like an anti-Nintendo thing. Square Enix and Nintendo don't have the best relationship, so why would they let him in there? Well, look what fucking happened. Every single rule and preconceived notion has been broken. So there is really no rules at all except for non-gaming characters. That's the only rule that's been stated. Anything else is fair game. You know, even if, you know, it was a meat costume or a spirit or whatever. So Sora could absolutely still get in in that case. You know, Geno fans, they're praying on that fact every single fucking day of their life. So they go to bed praying that that's the case. So, you know, me and 
us and uh, Geno fans, I guess we'd be in the same boat in that case. Again, every single rule that we think we have turns out to be bullshit. So if he gets into Smash as a me costume, I still have hope that he'll be a main fighter one day. It may make it very unlikely to happen in the uh, second fighter's pass, but we'll have to wait and see what happens on that ultimately, I guess. Who knows what will happen tomorrow? Um, you know, maybe he will get in, maybe he won't. I will be very, very anxious to see what happens. I'll be like shaking in my fucking seat the entire time the Mii Fighter compilation is going to come up. So it's going to be a fun time. I want to make this video just real quick because um, since it's coming out tomorrow and I've seen a lot of people talk about it on Twitter and stuff like that think it's worth discussing before we get into the main event. So tell me down in the comments below what you think about this. Are you excited about tomorrow? Do you think Sora will ultimately be a me costume? Do you think he'll get revealed tomorrow? Tell me down all your opinions in the comments down below. Also make sure to subscribe, like this video, follow me on Twitter, join Discord server, turn on notifications. Really awesome if you did. This has been Matt and I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever that's gonna be. So yeah, 